Welcome back to Retro Room. Ultima's back, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> What's wrong? Do you not like your fantasy games having fucking sci-fi in it for no reason? Yeah, I don't... I, I'm not really into uh, this whole Star Wars thing that's going on. <laughs> and uh, just like that, we've lost, uh, like, 20 fucking subscribers. <laughs> all of them. We lost all the subscribers. <laughs> I need to get more money. I hate that I'm learning the hockeys. I don't know, that that bothers me for some reason. <laughs> I just wish to remain ignorant. Yeah, unfortunately, much like uh, HP Lovecraft's monsters, as once you learn it, you're never gonna lose it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. It's like oh. Eldritch knowledge. <laughs> Except the knowledge is how to climb ladders. Yeah. Fuck. Please. There. Okay. Choose thy ship. How do I choose it? <laughs> Thou art the in the already in the left ship. What? How did I crunch myself? Oh, okay. Hi, I'm in the ship now. I got the best one. Yep, the, the phallic fal facutator. <laughs> oh, wait, I can't, you know, uh, what was the, what was the hyper, oh, I, that's yes, um. Yeah, and you need to find all the H's, those are the enemies, slash yeah. TIE fighters. <sighs> Anyways. Uh, how do I get in the first, oh, view, that, that might, that's actually a decent hockey, okay. A decent hotkey in an well, old Ultima game? <laughs> Unheard of. <laughs> if these are TIE Fighters, wouldn't they be humans? Um... I don't... Maybe. They, there was also other, like, alien pilots in in Star Wars. It wasn't just fucking humans. I thought that, that, was, that was the whole thing with the, the Empire. Mm-mm. Like, honestly, this is Ultima. We should not be arguing Star Wars schematic schematics in a fucking Ultima game. Well, to be fair, I shouldn't even be having to, but welcome to Ultima. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Please, let me shoot you! This is so difficult because of the fucking controls. And also, every time I hit a key, the fucking... Um, the game gets angry at you. No, I consume fuel to move my cursor. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's it's still... It's, it, this will never be not weird. This is... <laughs> what the actual fuck? Also, why do I have to be in first person in order to see... Um, how else are you going to see out of your space stage? Out well, of I mean to hyper jump. <laughs> okay. Maybe they just wanted to show off the cool stars going like that. I it's 100%. not cool now. <laughs> it's not cool now, but it was <laughs> <laughs> in fucking 1980. I'm sure this was mind blowing. Imagine being a kid and you didn't know that this, and then you're just like, oh my god, there's a whole shooter segment. It's quite literally, I would imagine it would be the same thing as, like, going to Silver, beating the game, and be like, oh, you can go to Canto, Canto now. Shit! Yeah. I'm sure this was very impressive, and was kind of just a low-key flex. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just put a whole but ass mini-game. really mini -game. does not hold up. <laughs> no. No, this is, this is really tacky, is I think the word. Oh, man. I can't wait till we get to Fantasy Star. This game just reminds me of Fantasy Star because of the weird sci-fi elements. Yeah. Do you know anything about Fantasy Star? Kind of. I know I know the lore is convoluted as shit, but that's like most Old. JRPGs. Especially yeah. JRPGs with a lot of history. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So Fantasy Star... Alright, so I want you to imagine it's the mid-80s, right? Nintendo has gotten the bag because they have uh, Dragon Warrior on their console. You're Sega. You made an SG-1000, no one fucking bought it. 
You have the master system. No one's fucking buying it. That's a problem. Right? Yeah. So, Sega's like, we need a big RPG for the master system so we can flex on Nintendo, because that is Sega's MO, is they don't exist to make money, they just exist to flex on Nintendo. Um, so... Uh, okay, just checking while I tell this story. So, N Sega is trying to figure out what the fuck they're going to do, what they're, how they're going to get the edge. Now, an important thing about the Master System is that it... Have you... Uh, Nintendo's NES had a uh, kind of an infamous thing called the... It's 56 color palette, which means the entire console only has 56 colors that it can render. Um, mm. The Master System had something like 500 colors. And it could display a lot of them at the same time, whereas the NES could only show three colors on each sprite. Um, so that's a big thing. And in RPGs in the pixel era, that is also a really big deal, because that means you can have really detailed enemy sprites that actually look good. Uh, so that was going to be the leverage to get the Master System off the ground, was, hey... We don't have a ton of games, but we will have the best RPG ever. Um, and I do genuinely think it is one of the best RPGs of the 80s, which is not saying a lot. Um, yeah. Because as much as I love RPGs, 80s RPGs, as you can tell from my reactions to Ultima, are not it. <laughs> Unless you grew up with them, they just age really poorly. Like, I could still play Final Fantasy IV, and it's just it's still good. But like games like this just... You know, it was a different era. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that was Fantasy Star. I don't think it really s did much for for Sega. It would take until, like, Fantasy Star 2 that people would start associating good games <laughs> with the Sega and RPGs, because Sega, for many years, could not get anyone to make RPGs for them. Gee, I wonder why. Um... It's also because it's just like RPG. Tech, usually, how it works in the industry is every RPG tends to be on one console. It's really strange. Mm. And, and until like the PS One, that place was anything Nintendo was making. Like everyone knows that like almost every good RPG from the early '90s is on the Super Nintendo. I keep forgetting the stupid controls for this. Why do you keep forgetting? You keep playing the game. Because they're not intuitive. <laughs> These have to be some of the... This style of control that Ultima popularized um, has to be the least intuitive controls known to, known to man. Other than, like, Quop, but that's the point of those games. Mm -hmm. Quop is meant to quop all over your fucking lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Get it's quopped. quopping time. Proceeds to quop all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I just need one more ship. Please. Why are you being difficult? Yes! I did it! You're free! Uh, okay. Now, uh, you need to find your way back home. <laughs> I can do it. Yeah, I just can't... Uh, okay, I can go onto the planet and resurrect, but I lose all my items that I have equipped, so I'm gonna have to fucking grind for that. Yeah, thankfully you're bulky enough to just take that shit. Yeah. Alright, Tokyo Drift in that planet. Whee! Attempting resurrection. <laughs> okay. There. Ready your skin. <laughs> your sweet, supple skin. <laughs> Ready that skin. I don't like how the, I don't like how you said that. <laughs> What's wrong? Don't you like your skin? Your nice, supple skin that I can wear? Anyways, um... <laughs> will give me... Awesome, okay, so now I'm up to almost a thousand hit points. 
All right. Did I save state? I did, okay. All right, kid him. I leave, okay. That's the wrong key, lovely. Is it, I wonder if they generate the seed every time you kill the jester or if it's every time for every king you go to. So I'm gonna try this again. Oh my god, nope, nope, I can't. I have to find a different king. And kill his jester. I think it's only one of the cities has the correct jester. Oh, I can I can kill him. It just takes literally 300 hit points of mine to do it. Okay, there we go. The princess. Oh, give me up. Oh, okay, then let me read the whole text. All right, I saved the princess finally. Okay, now you need to. Um, you need to go far to the northwest. The planet is loops. <laughs> um, what am I looking for in the northwest? Um, you're looking for the time machine so you can sh fit in all the crystals. I I hope it has a unique overworld sprite. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't quite know about that. So, like, the guide does not... Oh, wait, no, it does. Um, it, you're looking for... Is that... Honestly, it looks like a shitty TARDIS with a circle around it. Okay, so a bootleg TARDIS. Got it. So if it's in the northwest part of the map, on the, mm -hmm. the the little map you have, is there any landmarks that uh, that would denote something as being in the that I can look for that are that makes something northwest? Uh, let me look at the Found map it. again. Oh, thank God! All right, yeah, that is the shitty Tartarus. All right. Uh, what do I press to actually fucking? Um, let's see. Do hey, get into it. So I think you get out of your vehicle for it. Yep. Okay. <sighs> Thou hast remark upon. Named launch, and thou art locked in with nothing to do but press it. As soon as thou hast pressed the large black button, its lights begin to dance across the control screens. Gathering. Okay. Um. A moment later. <gasps> Mondane! The big bad evil guy! It's just him! Look at him! Kill him! Smother his ass! I hit him so far I knocked him back. What the fuck? Psionic shot. Psionic wave! <laughs> Come on. I want to beat the game. I'm going to beat this stupid fucking game. You little stupid bitch. There. Fuck. This is... And then I... So once I crush the dem, I just start murdering him? Yep. Okay. Why are you like this? The home cannot escape you forever. Bruh. Get back here! There! Oh there my! There we go! Yeah, we're done. <laughs> okay. 
The reign of silver lightning held the death of mundane. Fleeting glimpses of fates avoided rush through thy mind as the arcane power of the mage's dying scream echoes in thy ears. Please learn how to end a fucking sentence, please. A thousand years past. This is... It's Thou Art Holy Times. Fucking get to the script, Oz. <laughs> A thousand years pass in but a moment's time as a strange sleep overcomes thee. Upon awakening, thou dost find thyself in a new surroundings. In, oh, new surroundings, fuck. In a stately youth. What? A stately youth in violet robes helps thee to thy feet. Whereupon thou dost see the thousands who gaze upon thee in adoration. Thy selfless heroism hath saved our people, my worthy one. Okay. Should our gener fuck, should our gratitude alone not be enough to sustain thee, know that I, Lord British, hereby ordain that the entire realm of Sosrari ever be at thy service for all time, henceforth, so let it be done. Truly oh, a riveting tale. <laughs> Learn how to f fucking use periods, Lord British. Um, so that's Ultima. Yeah, we're, we're finally done. <laughs> They're only going to get longer. <laughs> Hopefully better. Um, yeah, that's a stretch, but okay. <sighs> I can dream, goddammit. Um, final thoughts. Ultima. Um, this was a fucking fever dream of an RPG. This was so weird. This was so strange. This is the first major RPG, is all I have to say. Not that it's, like, necessarily bad or unimpressive, it's just, what the fuck is this? Uh. Y yeah. And it's also, like, 99% grinding. Mhm. Mm There's the game itself is very short. It's just really padded out. Yep. I'm pretty sure my man Lord British knows how to pad shit out. Uh, the other thing about this game is that there's just like there's a lot of enemies, but you only see most like you only see a handful of them for the majority of the game, which is very strange. Right, like, there's so many enemies that you only are going to fight once, like the Baylor or whatever. Because I'm not going 20 levels into the dungeon. I don't care. Yeah, like, once you get past a certain point, it's just like, look at these enemies. Look at look at my stats. Who the fuck cares? Let's go to space. <laughs> yeah. Overall, I'd probably give the game, like, a solid... Nowadays, how it's aged, probably like a 4. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not going crazy. It's fine, but insufferable to play through <laughs> yeah like for the time obviously it's a huge revolutionary game but it's so hard to play now mm -hmm. um i mean you can easily buy it like gog is selling the dos box copy for like a dollar but i just it's so hard to actually play and there's not a lot of the, like the documentation that i could find on this game is very sparse so it's just i i can't recommend it you know <laughs> Yeah. Um, unless you really want to try and get into the headspace of the, the time period. Or you grew up with this game, in which case, I'm sorry uh, that we trashed on it so hard. <laughs> but if you made it to the end, thank you so much. Uh, it, we really do appreciate it. Uh, if you want to do all the YouTube gubbins, liking, subscribing, commenting, we appreciate it. No pressure. Um, but yeah, see you next time when we hopefully play something that isn't fucking Ultima. Oh, don't get yourself. We're playing Ultima 2. <laughs> ah! <laughs>